everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrie Magnus. Sorry guys, I can't be on camera because I'm gonna be showing you some really great images today. So what I've got for you today is actually, um, I actually got information that in Japan they actually have medical clinics where they use hydrogen. When they use hydrogen in these medical clinics, they're, they're specifically using equipment. It's actually the same equipment that I use because apparently it's the best and it's called the Lourdes Hydrofix. So the images I'm gonna be showing you are with that device. And you know, this is important because there seems to be a lot of confusion and people are always asking me about all sorts of different devices. It is very specific as far as the amounts of hydrogen, how you make the hydrogen, all these things are really, really important. And so I really can't emphasize that enough because I get too many people who actually contact me and they'll say, hey, I watched your videos. And you know, I'm using hydrogen and I'm not really getting any benefit, what's going on? And of course, the very first thing I typically ask them is what equipment are you using? What type of protocol are you using? And that's typically where I find the problems. And so I just wanna say that first because these images, again, are based on a very specific equipment and even protocols, and I'm gonna actually go through that with you guys today. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually some thermal imaging from Japan. In this medical clinic, the physicians are, are primarily treating diseases such as Alzheimer's, dementia, cerebral palsy, and even depression, things that have to do with the brain, okay? And what apparently they have realized, they know in Japan the brain conditions can be improved by, for example, removing the oxidative stress from the brain, and also, and, and this can obviously either slow down or improve these specific medical conditions that I had already mentioned that have to do with the brain, and also by improving blood circulation. So this is in the medical field over there, what they've observed. Now, if you look at this image right here, you can just see Alzheimer's, see here, and this is a normal brain. I think a lot of it has to do, obviously, with the blood circulation, has a lot to do with it. I mean, if you think about it, guys, if you don't give blood flow to your arm or your leg, it's gonna die. So blood circulation is really, really important. Of course, the oxidative stress is also really, really important. So let's just go ahead and move forward. Let me just show you first. This is an old image, one of my favorite ones actually. If you look at this image, you can see that there is blood flow. This is live blood analysis. They also use, again, the Hydrofix because again, it's the go-to machine in Japan. There's a reason for that. And then after they gave the hydrogen water from the Hydrofix, you could see the movement. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Every time I see it, that's that's impressive. I mean, that's that's really amazing. But the new images that I got are these right here. Check it out, guys. This is really interesting. What we're looking at here is somebody's right foot. And what they're doing here is they measure the temperature at 28.8 degrees Celsius. This is actually one of the patients in this particular clinic. And that translates to, I believe, 83.84 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So, and obviously that's the temperature they're measuring pretty far away from the, from the heart. So what they did is they put this person on the inhalation of pure hydrogen, of course, not to be confused with mixing oxygen and hydrogen because they didn't find that that was really as effective. In fact, I'm gonna be releasing some videos here in the near future where there is actual studies where they're using hydrogen mixed with oxygen. And for a lot of things, they just found that it was not effective at all. Whereas pure hydrogen, it was rather effective. So it's really important to note that difference because there's a lot of confusion about that also apparently. And so what they did in this particular case is they had them do the inhalation from the Hydrofix, which is 26 milliliters per minute, and that's at the tip of the nose, not out of the machine. Out of the machine, the number is much, much larger, but you don't really wanna know what comes out of the machine. You wanna know what comes actually out of the tip of the cannula at your nose. So 26 milliliters, I'm learning more and more, is actually a very good, healthy number of pure hydrogen. After a 30-minute session, this is what happened, guys. Now, I don't know if you can see how much brighter that is, of course, but look at the temperature read. 34.1 degrees Celsius, which works out, I believe, to be about 93.38 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're looking at a difference of roughly five degrees Celsius or about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, that was only a 30 minute session of inhalation. Now you do also have to remember, they're treating the brain here, so inhalation appears to be more effective for the brain, also things like the eyes. There's different areas of the brain that hydrogen affects when you either inhale it or drink in the water. Personally, I do think it's better to do the combination of both, but in this particular case, they just want to show how it is incredibly effective, the inhalation part of it, because there's also been, well, at least here in the US, not in Japan, you know, there's a lot of speculation, people thinking that the 
26 milliliters per minute is not really the best, but it actually appears to be very therapeutic grade hydrogen. And then let me read you guys, this is pretty fascinating. I'm gonna read you some of the doctor's notes and this is what they said. They said by increasing the blood flow and by using pure hydrogen gas, it really seems to help the blood flow and bring up the temperature, and it, which is a very effective and non-invasive treatment for patients that is very safe in order to improve or to slow down the progression of such diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia, cerebral palsy, and depression. Now, the one thing that I will mention, this is where cancer, in my opinion, comes into play. The Japanese discovered that cancer, most people who have cancer, way over 90%, have lower core body temperatures, which is really, really fascinating to me. So if something like hydrogen can increase not only your body temperature and blood flow, it seems to me that it would really have a lot to do with improving people's uh, condition and of course, in regards to cancer, but we also know that it's very protective and so when people maybe the people go through chemotherapy and things like that hydrogen can be incredibly protective and i've actually heard of people who have gone through chemotherapy without hydrogen and they just suffer a lot from the negative side effects and then i've heard of these people relapsing they go for the second treatment but they found that about hydrogen they use it during the treatment and it was so much easier for them to go through the treatment so it's something that i think would be really good for people you know with cancer but i just think overall for good health hydrogen is a good idea but this really just shows you how effective the inhalation from the hydrofix really is and it also shows you that obviously the professionals and the people who know about hydrogen you know what device they want to use and what's really the most effective when they're actually uh, taking things like thermal imaging so that's it guys I just wanted to share this video with you because I was I was really excited I couldn't wait to share this video with you guys so if you guys liked it definitely give it a thumbs up let me know that you liked it support the channel by subscribing and liking the videos and also don't forget to hit the little notific notification button up there at the top right because i am going to have more videos coming your way in fact i have so many that i got to do but um when i do have time to get around to them i will be releasing those for you guys so thanks for watching guys appreciate it appreciate all of you for watching and i'll see you guys next time on the next one